Hi, I'm Seth Johnson with Land the House. So when you buy a pre-assembled hydraulic ram pump from Land the House, it comes in a box like this. Inside, you've got some packing material, and it comes with two parts. A pressure tank, which is a big cylinder, and everything else. And so let's talk about this. So here we have a ball valve, a union, a T to a brass swing valve. This is an inline spring valve, another T, reduces down to another union and ball valve. Now here you notice there is pipe tape and that's where you're going to attach your pressure tank to the pump. So that's the only setup you need to begin with. Now, to connect your drive pipe, um, you can either use a threaded connector or you can use a, um, a rubber gasket that fits over this piece. Now that you've unpacked your ram pump and assembled it, let's talk about how to install and operate your ram pump. The first thing to consider is your water source. Here I'm just using a five gallon bucket, but your source can be a creek or a pond or maybe even a river. Now you'll notice I have three feet of head, meaning the distance between the water source and the pump. This gives me the potential for 21 feet of lift. Now the pipe that's coming out of my source is known as the drive pipe. Now it can be about 100 feet long before you have to install a stand pipe. But for this installation, we're just going to consider a short drive pipe. It's going to come through this first ball valve, which allows me to turn on or off the pump. Now we've got a swing check valve here. I'll show you how this works in just a moment. Right now our pressure tank is empty. We'll have to fill that. Now here is the delivery pipe. Now the horizontal distance makes very little uh, difference in the operation of the pump. Now the vertical is what really affects how the pump operates. So in this example, I've got a 10 foot pipe acting as my hill for this delivery pipe to climb. So let's get this pump operating. Now for the first use, the pressure tank is empty. There's no water, no pressure in it. So we have to fill this. So what I'm gonna do is keep the delivery pipe closed and turn on the drive pipe. Now there is still air inside of my drive pipe. So I'm gonna purge that by holding the valve open. Okay, all of the air is out of the pipe now. Very important step. Now what I'm gonna do is fill this pipe with pressure by turning the pump on, by pushing the valve here over and over again until it starts working on its own. With every action of the um, valve here, it's pushing a little pressure into my tank. Now there's enough pressure building up in here to keep the pump going on its own. So now I can slowly start opening the other side and the pump will probably stop. If you can see it, water is slowly moving up the delivery pipe. What's happened is pressure has dropped in the tank. This is called back pressure. So we're gonna close the valve again and start the pump once again. What we're trying to reach is enough back pressure in our delivery pipe to keep the pump going. Now you'll notice the pump is operating and we're pushing water out at the top. So 
So that's the basic operation of a hydraulic ram pump. I sell three different sizes of these on landahouse.com. The one and a quarter, one inch, and three quarter. The difference in those sizes is the amount of flow that comes out per minute. The vertical distance uh, is going to be about the same based upon the one to seven ratio. Now you can do a few special things with these pumps, like operate them underwater, as long as your source is above the pump. Now do keep in mind, these do not require electricity or fuel, which means they can be run 24-7, 365, but there is a lot of loss as you noticed. The loss is somewhere around 60% to 90%, depending on different factors in the setup. So also to keep in mind, the vertical height. The further up you go, the less flow you're going to have. So just a few things to consider. Hope you enjoy your hydraulic ram pump. Thanks for watching. I'm Seth Johnson with Land a House.